Hello, I'm Dr. Carlo Karendang, and I'm a psychiatrist. Today, I will talk about the negative cycle of arachnophobia, which is the extreme fear of spiders. So here's an example of a negative cycle of arachnophobia. You start with your trigger, which is seeing, hearing, or thinking about spiders. So this event induces thoughts about the event. So you might think when encountering a spider that something bad might happen or that you may not be able to cope or that you're going to be harmed by the spider. So these thoughts about the spider induce anxiety. So what's interesting is the spider itself doesn't cause anxiety, but your, it is your thoughts about the spider that induce anxiety. So your thoughts then induce anxiety and fear and then you get the physical effects of the release of adrenaline which culminates in the fight or flight response where you get increased heart rate, um, breathing faster, you're sweating, you're trembling, your muscles tense up to the point where you might even have a panic attack. So this anxiety then is quite uncomfortable and you might have a panic attack so the anxiety that's induced by, the, by your thoughts about the spider causes you to avoid. So then you avoid spiders at all costs and if you do encounter a spider that you try to flee or escape immediately. However this avoidance although it decreases your anxiety over the short term it actually maintains the belief in the danger and direness of, of events and then it perpetuates this negative cycle of arachnophobia. So let's go through each one of these in detail. So your trigger is a spider because you have arachnophobia. So you're triggered by either seeing the spider, hearing the spider, or thinking about the spider. So this event induces thoughts about the event. So you will think something bad is going to happen because the spider is going to harm you. And then you're going to think that you may not be able to cope. So these thoughts about the spiders induce anxiety. Then you get anxious, you get fearful, and then you get the physical effects from the adrenaline release into your bloodstream, otherwise known as the fight or flight response. So the anxiety makes you avoid, and if you can't avoid the spider and you see a spider, then you flee or escape at all cost. So although, although the avoidant behaviors decrease the anxiety over the short term, the behaviors actually maintain your overall anxiety from the spider so the avoidance maintains the belief in the danger and direness of events. And thus the vicious negative cycle continues of arachnophobia. So the spider induces these irrational thoughts, which then induces anxiety, which then compels you to avoid. So instead of just exposing your, yourself to the spider and finding out nothing bad will really happen, you avoid the spider and this maintains your belief that spiders are dangerous and that you will be harmed if you're exposed to them. So with the avoidance, you never get to find out that the anxiety will just go away naturally if you just stay with the spider, if you just be with the spider and not avoid. So the solution is cognitive behavioral therapy, otherwise known as CBT. CBT helps to break the negative cycle of arachnophobia by changing how you think and what you do. So it changes your irrational thinking. As I said before, it's not the spider that causes the anxiety, but it is the irrational thoughts that you have about the spider that causes anxiety. So CBT is focused on changing the way you think and also what you do. So it tries to address your avoidant behaviors because the more that you avoid, the more that your anxiety gets perpetuated. And it's the this goes along with the premise of facing your fears. And with any anxiety problem, you have to face your fears or else you will never get over your fears. So it's difficult to change the way we feel. So you can't just snap out of not being anxious or fearful. So you can't really change the way you feel easily. So we focus then on changing the way we think and the way we do things. So it's more easy. It's easier to change our behaviors and to change the way we think than it is to change the way we feel. So that's the premise of CBT, where feelings are difficult to change, so you focus on behaviors and thoughts. For more information and help on arachnophobia and other anxiety problems, please visit anxietyboss.com. 
I'm Dr. Carlo Karendang. Thank you for listening.